So this is my latest little engine build and it's simply a miniature version of my uh, popular wigwag engine. Um, those of you who have seen uh, the wigwag, that's his uh, bigger brother. And um, all I've done is scaled the drawings down by 50% so this is one half scale and um, rebuilt it at that half scale and uh, it's all made from from bar stock flat stock and round stock and uh, it's quite a cute little engine um, so this time it's actually um, the, the chassis is made from a piece of uh, quarter inch uh, flat brass bar and then the rest of it just from uh, brass pieces and it's got a steel a mild steel flywheel which was uh, turned up on the lathe and then the holes were, were drilled on the um, rotary table on the milling machine uh, the same same with the crank disc uh, that was just turned on the lathe and then the uh, the shapes here were, were milled out and uh, it's quite a beautiful little thing the only difference I suppose is the actual um, the piston the conrod and the uh, the connector at the bottom are actually all turned from from one solid bar The piston itself was um, was turned in in one piece, so I sort of milled this square at the end, drilled and reamed the hole, and then uh, there was a little bit of extra on the end there, so I can actually get a, a, a live centre in there. And then I uh, I turned down this shoulder, the actual pin, connecting pin, connecting rod, and then of course the piston on the top, uh, which is a uh, eight millimetres diameter, and it's got a little shaved off area there because uh, when it comes up it just sort of almost covered the hole so that's just to allow the uh, the air to still access the top of the cylinder and um, there you go I'll just put that back together obviously that's the, the port face there a little bit of scoring where it's been running in but the two uh, two tiny ports so that's drilled through on the on the side to link up with the right hand side port and then obviously the left hand side port is the exhaust port so that's uh, that was drilled down and then a piece of piece of bar popped in there so I'll just put this back together Oop. it's a little bit fiddly but once it's in and then the spring the springs a little bit oversized it's a bit out of scale so um, I'll be looking out for a shorter spring and then I'll just shorten this stud it's probably a bit too tight that should be okay and uh, let's pop our airline on and then I'll get some compressed air on it just squeeze that on there and we'll Get it running. Slow it down a touch. Now, I don't know whether the camera will pick up the sound, but it's quite a quiet little engine. There she goes. Will, will run nice and slow. It's a lovely little thing, and um, you know it's a real compliment to its uh, to its bigger brother here, the uh, the original wigwag. So yeah, it's nice to have a nice to have a different different version, different scale. Um, someone suggested I uh, try and make a half size, half size, which would, um, oops, which would be about this tall. But uh, I, I really don't think, um, don't think my eyes are up to that. To be honest, this one actually comes in at about three inches. I think I've already covered that in the video. And um, well, as you can see, it's uh, it's not much bigger than a than a box of matches, or an old box of matches. Don't see these anymore. Oops. So it's a it's a pretty cute little thing. Thanks for watching.